off the first day of July with another named tropical storm. Here's a look at the tropics right now in that anticipated track for tropical storm Elsa, or I guess I should say <laughs> multiple tracks, but it did form earlier this morning. It already claimed a spot in the history books and our in Chris Mulcahy he explains what record Elsa just broke and a look at some of the other historic E names on record. Elsa has done it. No, not you, Elsa. This Elsa has claimed that royal crown for the earliest E name on record. For the second straight year, the earliest fifth name storm record has been claimed. Elsa formed four days earlier than last year's Edward, who also forced 2005's Emily to let it go from the record books. This is the first time we have ever had a tropical system named Elsa. There are six lists of hurricane names that recycle every six years. Elsa replaced tropical storm Erica, who was retired in 2015 due to its historic flooding and casualties in the Caribbean island of Dominica. Erica is one of four E names that have been retired. Other fifth name storms that have been retired from in the history books, Elena, Eloise, and Edna. Elena was a major category three hurricane that made landfall in Mississippi in 1985. Eloise made landfall in the Florida Panhandle in 1975 that killed a total of 80 people along its path. And Edna was a major hurricane in 1954 that moved to New England just 11 days after Hurricane Carol, which was also retired. All four retired E names happened in late August and September, which is close to the peak of hurricane season. While Elsa is not expected to become a major hurricane, it already has its place in the history books before it makes landfall or goes into the unknown. I'm meteorologist Chris Mulcahy with WCNC Charlotte.